ChatGPT. It's just an amazing tool, and it can do so much stuff. I'm so impressed. Again, it's not the first video I've made of her. I'm really impressed with ChatGPT, uh, but it's, it's really cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to take a client situation where the client is asking, can I retire tomorrow? In other words, do I have enough money right now that I could walk away from my job? Uh, he's sick of working and he's just ready to retire. Well, we're going to ask ChatGPT what the answer is, and then we're going to compare ChatGPT's answer to my financial planning software. When you're working with ChatGPT, what you can always do is ask it what information it needs. And so for this project, I did just that. I asked it what information it needs in order to determine if someone could retire today or tomorrow. So it came back with a table of information, and that's what I'm showing on the screen now. When you're doing financial planning, the more information that you have, the better. In this case, it's quite an extensive list for what ChatGPT needs in order to make a decision as serious as are you going to retire. Looking at the list that it created, here are some topics. Personal basic information like when were they born, how old are they, how long do they think they're going to live, how much money do they want to spend, how much money do they have. And will they have other incomes like social security or pensions or annuity incomes? Do they want to include inheritances? Also, ChatGPT or any financial planning software needs to know what investments they have and how they're allocated. And then ChatGPT also wanted to know some other assumptions, such as what are they going to do with their home equity? What are they going to do for health insurance? Do they have any plans to do Roth conversions or withdraw from their accounts in an unusual manner? A lot of information has to be put into the chat. I've typed that all out and let's take a look. Currently I'm using the paid version, the first tier of paid version for ChatGPT, and I'm using the O3 model, which does more reasoning. I'll read you what I wrote into the ChatGPT so you have an idea for this client situation. He was born in December 1960, which means he'll be 65 this year. His wife is a couple of years younger. We are gonna say they will live to age 90. And after taxes, they'd like to spend 120000 per year. They want to buy or rent an RV and travel the U.S. And we've included $200,000 of additional spending that first year of retirement. I am adding a spreadsheet that has their accounts and their allocations. We've entered his Social Security information, and uh, we're going to assume that both will claim at age 67. They have no other income, so no pension income or no annuity income in this example. We're not going to include any inheritance, and we're going to assume also they do the standard withdrawal order of taxable brokerage accounts first, then tax deferred, which are IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, and then finally their Roth accounts. And then we just gave it a little information about they are going to maximize the uh, SALT deduction of $40,000 because they live in California. In 2023 and 2024, incomes were below the IRMA cutoff. That's some more tax information for ChatGPT to know. Then they're going to use Medicare and Medigap. Then I've asked ChatGPT, is there any other information it needs to know? I've added the spreadsheet. Let's upload this and see what it comes back with. I really like how it shows you what it's thinking and uh, shows you how it's going to calculate things. So we're watching it and it's determined what it needs to do. And now it's going through the information. Here's a, a view of the spreadsheet that I uploaded. This is really cool. ChatGPT has analyzed the spreadsheet and broken out the different investments by type in terms of taxes. Taxable, which means bank and brokerage accounts. They've got about $2 million. Tax deferred, just over 500, and then no Roth accounts. It's given us a first pass at can they retire tomorrow? And ChatGPT's answer is probably yes. Probably yes, purely from a balance and cash flow perspective, but we still need to confirm taxes, healthcare premiums, and return assumptions. One of the things it's asking, and this has happened before with using ChatGPT as a financial planner, it wants to know detailed tax information. So it's asking cost basis detail lot by lot. We're not going to upload that here. So here's what I've added. Use standard planning defaults for inflation and returns. Increase the 120K spending for inflation. Use new OBBBA, One Big Beautiful Bill Act, tax assumptions, no Roth conversions. In order to simplify things a bit, let's say that the Medicare and Medigap expenses, healthcare expenses, are part of the 120000 per year that they want to spend. Okay, we'll send this back. Uh, let's see what it does. Short answer, based on your client's 
portfolio, projected spending, social security timing. At first pass suggests they can retire tomorrow, assuming standard conservative planning assumptions, no Roth conversions, and health care is included in the 120. Then it's gone through and listed out all the assumptions. So you could check through and see if there are any mistakes. Let's switch over now to my financial planning software and see how the same inputs come out on the financial planning software projection. This is a software called Right Capital. It's for financial advisor use. If they retired tomorrow and lived to age 90 with the same assumptions we talked about earlier that was uploaded to ChatGPT, financial planning software is saying 94% probability of success with just over $3 million remaining in their investments. So it's highly likely that their retirement will be just fine and they could retire tomorrow. One of the main things that is important in retirement planning is the spending. Spending is number one by far. So they're spending 120000 per year on a $2.5 million of investments and they will receive Social Security starting in a couple of years. Well, two years for him and four years for the wife. 120000 spent on $2.5 million. That's a very reasonable amount. It's affordable. And so their retirement success looks really good. If they wanted to spend more, that's what would really change this projection and make it iffy for people who are willing to do their own research and learn online chat gpt it's just an amazing tool and it can do so much stuff i'm so impressed again it's not the first video i've made her i'm really impressed with chat gpt uh, but it's it's really cool i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks a lot for watching please consider subscribing see you next time